Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. My name's Derek and this is my Hercules 14 inch abrasive chop saw. This has been a pretty good chop saw in my shop for the last couple of years and I figured it was time to do a review on it. It may, it may have only been a year or so now that I've had it, but I've got plenty of cuts under my, under my belt with it. Uh, Harbor Freight did send it out to me. They very rarely send me tools. I, they really only send me them when I asked for them and this saw was no different. I had to ask for it, but I really wanted to put it up against my Milwaukee chop saw, which if you saw that video, I do hope that uh, this video will not be a total repeat of that, but you probably will hear some of the same things as some of the things I'll talk about in this video have not changed since that video, but I do have much more experience now since I created that video with this chop saw. But if you don't know, the Hercules brand is Harbor Freight's top of the line power tool uh, tool brand. I did make a video comparing this chop saw to the Milwaukee chop saw. The result of that video was that I liked the Hercules just ever so slightly better and I ended up selling the Milwaukee chop saw. And the Hercules has taken its spot as the primary uh, metal cutter in my shop or metal cutting saw in my shop. I definitely don't have too much negative to say about it, um, but some of this is just going to be a straight up repeat from that video and we might as well get into it. I don't know why Harbor Freight couldn't have put in some kind of quick angle change system like some of the other chop saws within the same price range have. So what they have here is an Allen bolt. They have two Allen bolts you have to loosen up and then you make your adjustments and then you go back down and tighten them with this Allen wrench that sits nicely in the front of the chop saw. So that's pretty nice uh, that they include that and it's got a nice little out of the way place for it to go. But I do wish that there's a quick change system in here. So I don't know if Harbor Freight can update that someday, but putting in some kind of quick angle adjustment in here where you just release a lever, make your adjustment and then tighten the lever and it holds it in place with friction. Now I have to admit, I've never used one of those. So maybe there's an advantage to the simplicity of these that they'll just never fail and maybe those don't always work super great. But anyway, I do think the quick change system would be nice. So I'll throw that out there. And that's pretty much going to be it. Now, you know, if all you're ever gonna do is cut straight material, then I could definitely see why you wouldn't even care for that. And this is a great chop saw for it. It comes in under or even well under some of the other brands. And I think it works just as well. It's plenty powerful and it definitely cuts the material. The clamp here is pretty standard. I, I don't know if any of these chop saws use a different kind of clamping style than this, but it does have the quick adjust forward and then it tightens forward and then you have to loosen it back and then you can flip that up and move it back. So pretty simple, uh, quick adjusting little clamp there. I like that about it, but that's pretty standard amongst all these chop saws. It's got a stamped sheet metal base. I do think that some people prefer a cast iron base. I know, I think in older Milwaukee had a cast iron base. Um, um, but the, st the stamped sheet metal base is good enough for me. I think it makes it nice and light to move around because I'm always moving it around, especially because I don't have a permanent place here in the shop to keep it. So uh, that's something to keep in mind is it's reasonably lightweight. Since I'm on this angle, I'll talk about just a couple more things here. The guard, uh, nothing wrong with that. I like the nice Hercules branding sticker on the front. I always talk about branding because, you know, I like a nice looking tool. I guess really the last thing is just the on off switch, the trigger switch here. Seems like pretty good quality. I definitely really like the D hand handle style here. So a few of the other chop saws have a different handle. That was one of my biggest beefs with the Milwaukee was that it had a funky uh, curved handle. It didn't work super great for left-handed people. I definitely prefer the uh, little D handle style here. Hopefully that makes sense to you. So this spark guide is uh, pretty useful. It does place most of the sparks that come off the cutoff wheel. Right there I've got a really good buildup of uh, metal and abrasive material inside of the little chute here. But that thing's pretty effective, works pretty well. Not a whole lot more to say about it than that. You do have this locking pin, as I think you just noticed. You just push the saw down and it locks it in place. They have this kind of information sticker here with all the information you need to know about. It's a 15 amp chop saw, chop saw with a one inch harbor, 14 inch abrasive chop saw. It's got the serial number on it and stuff. I also know that I mentioned in my previous video that I like the placement of the cord. It comes right out the back here. So when I do get a more permanent place for this thing, the cord, or cord will pretty much never be in the way. This thing also does have replaceable brushes here up in the front and in the back. So you can move these little caps, put new brushes in if you need to. Also, you can uh, push this in. You have to line it up. You push the little knob in and it locks the blade so you can change the blade. The blade's pretty simple to change. 
Uh, really probably not any different than any other brand. But yeah guys, this is a pretty good chop saw. It's been working great for me and I don't think it's going to slow down anytime soon. Um, I'm sure it's got many, many years left in it, if not uh, almost a lifetime tool for someone like me. Anyway, I don't want to bore you with too many details in this video. I just wanted to give a pretty quick review and a good overview of all the different things that I think about the chop saw. Like I said, a lot of these chop saws are pretty similar, but they're all just a little bit different. And this one I'd probably put in the top three that I'd purchase if I was gonna go buy one with my own money again. But keep that in mind, it is a great chop saw. I have really very little bad to say about it. In fact, I have nothing bad to say about it. Uh, it's really just a couple things I wouldn't mind seeing changed that might be a little bit more convenient. It's a great chop saw, and I think it keeps up with the big dogs, the big names in at least the chop saw world, I guess. Anyway, I really appreciate you guys watching. If you haven't already, go down and give me a big thumbs up. Helps me out with the YouTube algorithms. Also, if you're not a subscriber, go down and click subscribe for me. And drop a comment below if you're looking at this chop saw or any of the other chop saws. And tell me what you're considering purchasing. And if you're not a subscriber already, go down and click subscribe for me. Again, I appreciate you watching. I hope to see you in the next video.